We're going to do a demonstrate, demonstration on the importance of choosing the proper jumps. Okay, There are signed jumps and there are unsigned jumps and it's important that you choose the right one. Down here in Notepad I have two values. I have 7F and I have 80. I've expanded them out into their binary representations and you see that 7F has a 0 in the most significant bit and 80 has a 1 in the most significant bit. If these two numbers are treated in our program as unsigned numbers, 7F corresponds to the value of 127 and 80 corresponds to the value of 128. If they're unsigned numbers, they're both positive. Okay. If we're treating these same bit values as sign numbers, then 7F still represents positive 127, but now 80 hex represents minus 128. I leave this to you to verify this with notepad, uh, with your calculator or by doing the twos complement. Okay. So now if we go to debug. We find out our registers, our IPs at 100, and let's just put in some funny code, some play code to figure out the difference between jump of above and jump of greater than. Okay. The first instruction I'm going to do is move AL7F. Okay, so I'm moving this pattern here into the byte register AL. Following that, I'm going to compare AL with the value, the immediate value of 80. Okay, so this is equivalent to, if I write it, essentially, I'm going to be going if AL, and I'm going to go if AL is greater than 80. Now, if I'm giving this piece of code here, that's the C kind of idea, the C representation. Okay. I have a choice now of either using jump of up above or jump of greater than. And it's important to choose the right one based on the kind of data that AL contains. If it contains unsigned data, then you want to go jump of above. You want to go jump of above to some location. And I'm just going to put it to AA. Okay, so it's going to jump to somewhere else. So if AL is above 80, it will jump to AA, otherwise it will continue on and execute the, the following instruction at 106. If, however, okay, so let's just see what happens there. Can you predict what will happen? AL is 7F, which is 127. We are looking at JA, so that means we are treating AL and 80 as unsigned numbers. Is 127 above 128? No, it's not. Okay, so we shouldn't take the jump. Let's execute this code. Okay, so we'll first go, we executed move, and now AL contains 7F. We are going to execute compare, and the purpose of the compare is nothing changes, nothing changes, oh, nothing changes, nothing changes except for the flags. The purpose of the compare instruction is to change the flags, okay? And of course the IP changes because we've executed an instruction. We are now going to execute jump of above jump of above is 7F above 80. What's the instruction? Has it taken and gone off to some other location or is it simply fallen down and executed the next instruction? It's fallen down and in there. It did not take the jump. Okay? So, if AL contains an unsigned value we go jump of above. What if instead, okay, uh, let me just uh, show you this, um, unassemble CS colon 100. This is the code that we have so far. 
at CS colon 100, we've got move AL7F, we've got the compare, and we've got the jump of a, uh, jump of above. I'm going to now replace this with jump if greater than, and we're going to re-execute the same code. So I'm going to go assemble at CS colon 104, and I'm going to go jump if greater than AA. So now let's go unassemble CS colon 100. See my program now? It's the move, it's the compare, and then it's the jump of greater than. I am now treating this same value of 7F and 80 as sign numbers. We're going to register, set the IP back to 100, so we're going to start again. Okay. Let's look at our registers. Our IP is 100, and we're going to start again. We're going to re-execute, so AL still contains 7F. Now we're going to execute the compare, and the same flags are set. Okay, But now I'm going to take 104, and it's going to do JG. And this time we're looking, is 127 above minus 128? positive is above negative, so yes, so we should be taking the jump, so we should not go to address 106. In fact, our IP is at 000, 000, 000 AA. We are no longer at CS colon 106. So to review, when we did, when we did JA, we did not take the jump. But when we did JG, we did take the jump. Just by choosing signed or unsigned, you change the behavior code. We did not change the data, we changed the code, and the code operates differently. So, if you're given the C syntax like this, if AL is greater than 80, you have to choose either JA or JE, JG. And the way you choose it is based on the type of the data. If it's signed, you have to use JG. If it's unsigned, you have to use JA. Good luck in your programming.